how to say good morning in different ways do you know about it so today's video is going to be all about how to say good morning in different ways while speaking in english language there are usually a varieties of ways in which you can say most things in this video we are going to have a look at alternative ways where we can wish somebody good morning say no to good morning basically in this video up you have to do that okay so in this video some of the alternative ways you can say good morning but yes promise me okay after watching this video you will say no to good morning all right so uh, let's move ahead the agenda of the today's video i have table of contents let's begin that so we'll start our presentation with the help of table of contents that we have already covered ways to say good morning and it's important and then we have we have to move on different ways to say good morning and we will understand with the help of some examples and finally we will end up this video with the help of conclusion using synonym of the term good morning will not only expand your vocabulary but will also create a more natural sound but will also create a natural sounding like you know many english speaking people do not use the term good morning and so using alternatives of good morning and you know using alternative of uh, this term good morning will allow you to become more influent so let's begin different ways to say good morning let's start off day with the first phrase that is rise and shine this is usually said when you are in the process of waking someone from sleep for example wake up wake up sleepy head rise and shine second good day to you good day to you bernard it's a positive delight to see you third is have a great day for example we can use it's your day teacher have a great day next hello there hello there lovely to see you again you can see the happiness so teachers can use such phrases that can create the excitement and smile on our students face fifth wishing you the best for the day ahead sixth how are you this fine morning this is an interesting question to start your conversation with your friend next isn't it a beautiful day today this phrase is often said when morning greetings are exchanged with the two passers so this is also another fantastic way to start the conversation with your friends colleagues and your siblings next the funniest one wakey wakey accent wakey this term is popular in the usa and is used when waking someone up stress look alive this popular beach phrase is used when a person is taking a long time to get prepared in the morning this is a term which you might send in the text message or a gentle way to wake up a person for example wake up sleepy hat do you want some breakfast second Wakey wakey sleepy head the sun is beginning to shine what a lovely summer day our parents also do sometimes right they want us to wake up to see the day next look at what the cat dragged in sounds funny right so this humorous phrase is an informal way of greeting a close friend or family member and as a way of telling them that they are not looking so great this morning Don't think that it would be insult if you use for your friends. Okay, depends on your bounding, right? So we can say, "Hey, everybody, look at her! What the cat dragged in?" Let's move ahead. What a pleasant morning we are having. So that's a positive vibes. You know, uh, we can use such phrases to create some excitements for the day. How is your morning going so far? First, how are you? Second. we are also greeting that person so basically two things are going to be covered by asking this question next morning this is shortened version of full hashtag #goodmorning is actually frequently used for example 
Good morning, Mr. Goodman. Nice to meet you. I'm Peter Banks from Personal. To sit down. Sounds like we can use it at professional place as well. That sounds something unique. In place of greeting somebody good morning, we can use only morning. And finally, let's cover up the conclusion. And at last, I would like to conclude my video with the help of a message. So saying good morning is not sufficient. Trust me. So these alternatives are going to help you to build the positive attitude towards uh, your uh, workplace and personal relationship. Mixing up your all the vocabularies that you have learned today in this video and using one of these alternatives way of saying good morning can really sharpen your English speaking skills. So wish you all the best. Let's use these alternatives and let's say no to good morning. Bye bye. Have a good day.